live from Barcelona, Spain, it's theCUBE, covering Cisco Live Europe. Brought to you by Cisco and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Barcelona, everybody. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. This is our first day of three days of coverage for Cisco Live for Europe. Uh, Lynn Lucas is here. She's the Chief Marketing Officer for Cohesity. Lynn, great to see you again. Thanks for coming on. Great to see you here in Europe. We were just saying, it's the first time that we've done this uh, on the continent, so another yeah. first. <laughs> yeah, another first. Been uh, so pleased to be in the U.S. with you guys at multiple shows, and now we, we're here in Barcelona. So it's a great venue. We've actually done you know, a number of shows here, um, and again, it's a pleasure having you on. Let's see, let's get right to it. Um, what's going on with you guys in Cisco? You got, got some news, let's talk about it. A absolutely, as you know, we don't stop innovating, continuous innovation at Cohesity, and a number of new things. So last week we announced a new Cisco validated design uh, with Hyperflex and Cohesity integrating for snapshot uh, integration for backup and of course instant recovery of that critical data center infrastructure and we're calling it HyperSquared. So you get full <laughs> hyperconvergence for your primary and of course your backup and other secondary applications. And those guys this morning talk about HyperFlex <clears throat> anywhere, Stu, so it's like infinite hy inf infinity HyperFlex, right? HyperSquared. So HyperSquared, love it. So you guys will well, how does that work? You'll, obviously you want to be the provider, data protection provider for multi-cloud. That's a huge opportunity Absolutely. for you guys. So how do you do that? You'll, you'll plug into whatever framework the, the customer wants, Presumably a lot of customers want the Cisco framework. How does that all No, absolutely, happen? you hit the nail on the head. I mean, Cisco, obviously one of the most respected IT leaders in the world. Tens of thousands of customers globally depend on them. I, I'm a Cisco alum, love being back here um, at the, uh, the old stomping grounds. And Cisco's been an investor in Cohesity now since our Series C, so they really saw the uh, promise and the benefit of what Cohesity offers with hyper-converged solutions for modern backup, recovery, and to your point, to the cloud. You know, Cisco's talking a lot about multi-cloud here, and Cohesity with our native cloud integration helps customers protect those backups on, uh, or those applications on HyperFlex, and then instantly move them to a cloud of choice. And then, as you've mentioned, Cisco has so many uh, fantastic relationships that they're a very strong go-to-market partner with mm -hmm. us. Um, and when customers want to buy a solution, uh, they can get the whole solution from Cisco, uh, including Cohesity. Yeah, yeah Lynn, we're gl glad we have you on because connecting the dots between something like Hyperconverge, which we've been talking about for a number of years now, and how that fits into multi-cloud, it's a little clunky sometimes, because it's like, wait, I've got my data center, am I just doing backup to the cloud? Because what we know is customers, uh, as Cisco says, their, their data is you know, kind of decentered. It's no longer in the, in the data center, it's all over the place. Uh, companies like Co Cohesity can give you that centralized data protection no matter where your environment is. But walk us through what you're hearing from your customers, how they look at kind of their data center versus the multi-cloud environment and uh, data protection. Yeah, so I think it's, um you know, I think customers are now understanding that it's not either or, right? There was a time when people thought, wow, I'm going to move everything to the cloud. And I really think there's a maturing of an understanding of what's going to work well for me in this cloud first world? What do I want to put there? And then what am I going to keep on premises? So w that's one of the things that Cohesity innovated our core technology, a distributed web scale file system, spanning file system, which spans the data center and the cloud world seamlessly. And what we're seeing is customers are really using the cloud for archiving, getting off of tape, because then they get that search capability very easy when they need to, tiering, and then most importantly, disaster recovery. You know, in the event of something man-made or natural, many, many organizations moving uh, to the cloud for their second site, and with Cohesity, that's very easy to make that uh, transfer happen in a very seamless way with our capability set. So I think what we're seeing is this real maturing of how customers look at it as a real holistic environment, and so Cisco calling it uh, data-centered, uh, 
Uh, but we call this, you know, mass data fragmentation, and then with our spanning file system being able to really consolidate that now. Yeah, uh, uh, another thing that needs that kind of uh, holistic view is security. Uh, I, I, I know it's something that's in your product. Uh, there was a ransomware uh, announcement that you made last week. T tell us how security fits into this world. Yeah, well, I, you know, I think we all hate to say it, but uh, you know, that old phrase, the new normal, unfortunately, ransomware and malware has become the new normal for organizations of all sizes. You know, here in Europe, we had that awful situation with the NHS in the UK uh, last year, um, and it's happening everywhere. So. Uh, you know, one element that uh, these attackers are taking is looking at how to disable backups. And so this is really important that as a part of a holistic security strategy that organizations take a look at that attack vector. So what Cohesity has introduced is really unique. It's uh, three steps. It's prevent, it's detect, prevent, and then recover. So detect in terms of uh, capabilities to see if there are nefarious changes being happened to the file system, right? And then prevent with Helios automatically detecting and with our smart assistant providing that notification. And then if need be, recover with our instant mass restore capability going back to any point in time with no performance issue. This is not taking time for the rehydration, the spanning file system doing this instantly and allowing an organization to basically say, sorry, not today, uh, attackers, we don't need to pay you because we can instantly restore back to a safe point in time. So let's unpack those a little bit if we could. The detect piece, I, I, I presume there's an analytics component to that. You're, you're observing the, the behavior of the, of the backup corpus, is that right? This, which is a logical place because it's got all the corporate data in there. That, that's correct. So last year uh, we introduced uh, Helios, which is our global SaaS-based management system. It has machine learning capability in it and that's providing that machine learning based monitoring to see what kinds of anomalies may be happening that is then proactively alerted to the IT team. And then the recovery piece as well, like you said, it's, it's got to be fast, you've got to have high performance, high performance data movement, and that's fundamental to your file system, is that what I'm hearing, or that's, the architecture? That's correct, that's one of the differences of our modern backup uh, solution versus some of the non-hyperconverged architectures is the distributed uh, web file uh, system which our CEO, Moe Aaron, he was formerly at Google, helped with developing their file system, has what's called uh, instant ability to go back into any point in time and recover not just one VM, but actually at a VMware a couple years ago, we demonstrated thousands of VMs mm -hmm. at a time. And the reason for that is this web scale file system which is really unique to Cohesity. And that's what allows an IT organization to not be held hostage because they can not have to potentially spend not just hours but even days with the old legacy systems trying to rehydrate you know, these uh, backups if they have to go back potentially many months in time because you don't know that that ransomware may have been introduced, not say yesterday, but it might have been several months ago and that's one of the key advantages of this instant mass restore. I mean, this is super important, right, Stu, because we're talking about very granular levels of being able to dial up, dial down, you can tune it by application, a high value application, you can have much greater granularity. Some of the crap locations, ah, not, maybe not as important, so. The right. flexibility is, is key there. How about customers? Any, any new customers that you can talk about? Or? Absolutely, so one of the ones, since we're here at Cisco Live, so uh, Cisco, along with Cohesity, uh, we've been working with one of the largest global uh, manufacturers of semiconductors and other electronic equipment, Tokyo Electron, mm. uh, based in uh, Tokyo, but also uh, here in the UK on the continent. And uh, they had one of those uh, older backup solutions and were challenged with the time it was taking them to back up, the restores not being predictable. So they've gone with Cohesity uh, running on Cisco UCS because we're a software-defined platform 
Uh, we uh, offer our software on our customers' uh, you know, choice of certified solutions in Cisco UCS. And so they've started with backup, but they're now moving very quickly into archiving to the cloud, helping reduce their costs and get off of tape, and to disaster recovery ultimately. So super excited that together with Cisco, we could help this customer modernize their data center and you know, accelerate their hybrid cloud strategy at the same time. Awesome, and then you guys are also uh, protecting the Cisco Live Network here. What, tell us about that. Yes, so, uh, you know, Cisco builds an amazing network here. I mean, you've seen the operations center, a huge team of people, but as we all know, things can go wrong, potentially, and so uh, we are protecting the critical services that Cisco's providing to all of the Cisco Live attendees here. So should something happen, uh, which I'm sure won't. Uh, Cohesity will be uh, used to instantly recover and bring back up critical services like DNS uh, and other areas that they're depending on to serve all of the thousands of showgoers here. So, super hot space. Um, we talked about this at, at, at VMworld actually the last couple of years, just how much activity and interest there is. And the whole parlance is changing, Lynn. I wonder if you could comment. I mean, it used to be you know, backup when the world was, was taped. Now you're talking about data protection, data management, mm -hmm. which can mean a lot of things to a lot of people, to uh, storage folks, it's, you know, it's pretty specific, but you're seeing a massive evolution of, of the space. Cloud uh, clearly is the underpinning of, of the, the tailwind, uh, and it requires you guys to, to respond as an industry, and Cohesity specifically as a company. So I wonder if you could talk about some of those major trends and how you guys are responding and yeah. how you're leading and yeah, I think you know, folks uh, have been a little bit surprised, like, wait a minute, what's this kind of sleepy industry? Why is it getting all this funding? I mean, our own Series D funding, uh, middle of last year, $250 million, SoftBank banked along with Sequoia, of course. Um, but really the trend, as is being talked about here at Cisco Live, is data is, I don't want to say the new oil, but it's the water of the world, right? I mean, it's absolutely crucial to any business uh, these days. Other than your talent, it's your most important business asset. And the pressure on the board and the CEO and the CIO in turn to be agile, to do more with that data, to know what you have, because here we are in Europe, GDPR, increasing regulations, is super important. And so, you know, this has really brought forth the need to create holistic ways to organize and manage and have visibility to all of that data. And it's massively fragmented. We put out that research last year, massive uh, data fragmentation. And most of that data has been kind of under the waterline in most people's minds. You know, you think about your primary applications and data, that's really only 20%. And the other 80% um, in test dev and analytics and backup has been pretty fragmented and siloed and it hasn't yet had that vision of how could we consolidate that and move it into a modern space until folks like Mo and Aaron, you know, founded Cohesity and applied those same hyper-converged techniques that he did at Nutanix. So I think that's this investment um, just further validates the fact that data um, is the most important business asset and people are really in need of new solutions to manage it, protect it, and then ultimately do more with it, gain insights out of it. You know, I, I, just a couple comments on that. One is, you know, data, we, we always joke about data is the new oil. It's even more valuable because you can use data in multiple places. You can only put oil in your car once and so, so, and, and companies are beginning to realize that, how valuable it is, trying to understand that value, how to protect that. And then GDPR, it's interesting, it's, it's really the, the fines went into effect yeah. in Europe last May, but it's become a template, a framework globally. People, you know, U.S. companies say, all right, we got to prepare for GDPR, and then local jurisdictions are now saying, well, that's a decent starting point. And so it's not just confined to Europe, it's really on everybody's mind. It is, and, and you brought up the cloud before, mm. and you know, the cloud is a new way for people to be agile, and they're getting a lot of value out of it, but it also continues to fragment 
uh, their data and the visibility. You know, in talking to a large CIO of a, a Fortune 100 a large organization, he's actually has less visibility in many ways in the cloud because of the ease of proliferation of test dev. Um, and that is creating more you know, stress, I would say, in the system and need for solutions to both provide and enhance that agility, move data to the cloud easily, move it out when you need to, but also with regulation be able to identify and delete, as you know, with GDPR, if needed, the information that uh, you know, your customer may ask you to remove from your systems. Yeah, well, I, I love this conversation. I love following Cohesity because you guys are up-leveling the entire game. I've been following the data protection space for, for decades now, and the problem with data protection is there's always been a bolt-on. And, and uh, companies like Cohesity, both with the funding, your, your vision, you're really forcing the industry to kind of rethink data protection, not as a bolt-on, but as a fundamental component of digital strategies and, and data strategies. So it's fun watching you guys. Congratulations on all the growth. I know you got more to go, so thanks so much for coming to theCUBE, man. It's always a pleasure to see you. All of, always a pleasure to be here with you guys. Thanks very much. All right, you're very welcome. All right, keep it right there, everybody. Stu Miniman and Dave Vellante from Cisco Live Barcelona. You're watching theCUBE. <laughs>